all they have caught is our dust. But <laughs> <laughs> it's been different this last week. Since this Captain Fontaine has taken command, three times he trapped us. Coward, our red shadow is a match for a million, Captain Fontaine. Yeah. Come, come, come. 
this Jack Fontaine. I'd like to show him how much we fear him. I'd like to ride down and break into his little wedding party. What do you mean, Ashley? Carry off this, uh, this Margo? Margo von Valley. A little pride from the streets of Paris. Stop, Hassi! See, Hassi, I want your promise. The sign of the head and the heart. If anything should ever happen to me, no harm must come to Margot von Valley. I can't understand you. No, you can't understand me. You are Mohammedans. I am French. But none of the band know you're French except us two. That is why I'm asking this promise from you. No harm must ever come to Margot von Valley. Well, she's only a woman. Give it up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the East and in you again. You can't understand Western love. You are our comrade. You've never asked any questions, but there is one thing that, that we do not understand. Yes. Why did you, a Frenchman who loves his country as you do, leave the army to join us? I would never have been your leader if it were not for this uh, mother. Surely a woman? Yes, a woman. It was because of Marco that I came to Morocco eight years ago. I, I dreamed of coming back to her in a grand uniform, all covered in medals. <laughs> I joined the French army. Do you remember who was governor then? Yes, uh, General Fontaine. This very Captain Fontaine's father. The one we called the Butcher. He sent me out to raid villages. I was very young. I realized how unnecessarily cruel he was. I tried to explain to him, but he flew into a raging fury. He said I was a traitor. Then before I knew what he was doing, he struck me fool in the face. I fell, bleeding from the mouth. Oh, how I longed to strike back. You couldn't? No. But I made up my mind then and there to give up this life, to stamp out this this cruelty that was disgracing France. Soon after, I made a secret trip to the hills, to Ali Ben Ali. I remember that night, when a masked figure stepped up and said, Ali, give me 20 men who aren't afraid to die. And when the law is wrong, we will overturn the law. Yes. I was a boy. I, I dreamed of, of being a Robin Hood in Morocco. <laughs> but. When I returned to Fez, they forced me to resign from the army. Well, I acted as if this blow had made me stupid. Almost half-witted, I spent all my time picking wild flowers. <laughs> and so, they set us high and low for the Red Shadow, and never suspected he was the stupid, timid boy living right in their midst. Fine. You're the only man that ever fooled the butcher. It was fine. Yes, until last year, when General Fontaine died. And of all men, they picked my own father to be governor. Do you realize my position? My father came down here with one purpose, to wipe out the Red Shadow. But could I desert my men? And my father, could I let him believe that his only son was an enemy to the French? Of course not. No. So to keep him from suspecting my movements, I continued playing the fool. Oh, it's been hard enough to see my father despise me. But now, now to let Marco despise me. Marco. Oh. Speak. Eh? Speak. Certainly. 
Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. He's a spy! Let's kill him! Stop! Yes. Don't do that. Don't be so effeminate. You can't do this to me. I'm British. England. London. Tottenham Court Road. And what are you doing in Morocco? Nothing. Make me an offer. Sure, <laughs> Chairman. Lead pencils. He's a spy. No, I'm not. I confess. In my own moments, I'm a reporter. I was society correspondent for the Paris Daily Mail. You know, parties and dances. No, you know. But you might. <laughs> but you. And why did you come to Morocco? Our war correspondent stopped sending any news. So the editor said to me, Benny, that's my name, short for Elf. <laughs> Benny, how would you like to take Malcolm Smith's place? <laughs> yes, please. The war correspondent. Did you know him? Yes, he paid us an unexpected visit, just as you did. He started asking questions. Is he all right? <laughs> He's all right now. He won't ask any more questions. <laughs> oh, Mum, I don't think I'll ask you very well. When I see a spy, I want blood. Well, don't look at me. I'm anemic. <laughs> what brought you here? I didn't mean to pay you a visit. Early this morning, I went out all sliding with my mate Pierre. Pierre? My lovely boy, Pierre. No, you didn't like him. But you might. But suddenly you gave me this slip. And then my horse ran away. It was my first time on a horse. Or did I have trouble? What's the matter? Got to your head, eh? <laughs> just the opposite. I couldn't stay on that horse. And I didn't know how to get off the horse. I just had to wait till the horse decided to stop. Oh, you can imagine how I felt. No, you couldn't imagine. But you might imagine. <laughs> you couldn't. Oh, I felt so terrible. All I wanted to do was just die. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Make that take a joke. I don't need much of the Alsatian. Little strip. Tell me, are there no big men born in England? No, only babies born in England. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Pierre? He? Well, he's the only son of General Burrow, the French governor. Ah, I thought you'd set up and take notice. Oh, I want to tell you fellows something, unless you release me. <laughs> <laughs> I assume I've said something funny. Hold it.
keep every man in his ambuscade. While our friend the Red Shadow and his band return, you can just mow them down. They're done for. Congratulations, Captain. You're the title. Bring them here. Doctor Sally Fox. Oh, Anna, who sees all things, help me, 
tea tray. I said news. Oh, I thought you said bruise. Oh, oh Susan, I've got enough news to cover the front page of the Paris Daily Mail. I was caught by the Rift Band. Benny? Was it a big band? Bigger than Joe Loss. Here, you take the notes. I'll write the story later. Do you mean to say you went out alone after those riffs? Yep. Susan, they were the toughest bunch you ever saw. There was this one big bloke by the name of Acid. All he wanted to do was just kill you. What for? Just like doing those kind of things. Oh, it was an horrible piece of work. Frizzy hair, a bristling moustache, a long greasy beard, and bushy eyebrows. One more error, and he'd have had to live up a tree. <laughs> Susan, it was so tough. It could kill you with one hand, eat a grapefruit with the other, and tell you which way it would squirt. And I suppose the next thing you're going to tell me is you saw the red shadow. I did. And you expect me to believe you? Yep. And if you thought that other bloke was tough, you should have seen the red shadow. He came riding in on a panther. <laughs> Using a rattlesnake as a whip. <laughs> he said, man, I'm hungry. And one of the men carried in a live cow. Oh, Benny, how Trips. <laughs> That's the this poor cow. The red shadow walked over to it, took out a saber, cut himself off a slice, and ate it. Raw? It was the worst thing I ever saw done to a cow. And, and didn't you do anything about this? Well, I think I did. I walked up to this man and said, Put down that cow. And they stopped eating and started on me. All of them? The whole 10,000 of them. Oh, Susan, there was an awful pain. Rest in a Rest to the left of me, rest above me, rest behind me, volleyed and thundered into the valley of death, rode the 600. I thought you said there was 10,000. Don't be so accurate. I'm writing for the papers. Rest behind me, oh, I run out of rest. Then I was in hand to hand combat. I slew, slow, and slaughtered. I don't know how many I left dead. Bullets missed. Bullets? Benny, you didn't tell me there was any shooting. Well, Susan, the bullets were flying so quickly, you never had time to take a round.
find the other soldiers. I'd like to see how green you be if the rich are at this. And the sign in that tower blue. Company! Right!
Yeah, this was a mad chance coming here the night before the law. See? see, I had to see Margot tonight. But what would General Villabal say if he knew what all his son was a red shadow? But I had to take that chance to see Margot again. Now to play the fool. Oh, 
someone finds something in my time for that. My passion is not passion, only one maiden in modern fashion. I like the ways of the old world, days of a dear self-control world. I'm not giving mad braces to tail laces.
excuse for that girl. What is it, dear? What is troubling you? What is wrong? Oh, Sid. I have played the fool. I mean, if she laughs at me, it is all my own fault. Oh, if I could only. Oh, you in that racing, your pulse is racing, you'd not repel me. Someday I might make you tell me, tell me that you love me too. See, how long would it take my men to get here if I want? They are just outside the city wall, waiting work from you. Why do you ask? I might call upon them. <laughs> Fraction of fake attraction against the actions 
tracks with the army colonels. We will meet you there.
back home. And this time, with honor and victory. You think they'll kill the red shadow? As he prisoner, he be dangerous. The natives love him. He must not be seen alive.
sent by my master, the Red Shadow. Your master is my friend. My palace is his shelter. He begs that shelter for one day. The band of the twenty and two female prisoners. Female prisoners? That's strange. Very well, go back to your master with the blessing to follow. I'll tell him the Asian. The eyes of Ali Ben Ali are eager to see his old friend. these Christians ever become civilized? No, me. Leave the woman here. I'm told the bath in the harem is filled up with perfume water. After they have bathed, give them some light clothes to wear. Fill them up with wine, and I will look at them again later. And no, me. When the Red Shadow comes with his two female prisoners, see that they are treated as well as these women here. My friends, my good friends. Once more, it's all down. I beg your kindness and shelter. Should I protect the protector of my people? No, me. Here these men are fairly sheltered. Now, what was it this time? The burning down of a prison or the kidnapping of a tax collector? No, it was a little different this time. Ah, yes, yes. So it was. Yes, female prisoners. That is unusual. Many times in the past I have owned the hospitality of my own. But you seem as shy of a woman as, as a Christian. <laughs> you don't understand. This, these women, this... Oh, I see their main part for them. You are wounded. Oh, that is, uh... It, it's just a saber scratch. It's nothing. A saber scratch? Your prisoners, they are coming this way. <laughs> what have you done with my Benny? Your Benny has sworn allegiance to the cause. As long as he remains loyal, he is safe. Oh, mademoiselle. You know who I mean. Your great leader, the Red Shadow. Your great big bully who uses his pen to beat helpless women. He did not beat you. You kept trying to jump off his horse. He had to hold you on. Father, my own body aches from those arms of iron. And then what did he do? He pulled my hair so I cried in agony. He had to do something to free himself. You were fighting him on the hand. Oh. <laughs> I'll save my scratch. You haven't asked my question. Where is he? Why, uh, he has gone. Gone? Where? Suppose he doesn't come back. What's going to happen to me and, and Susan? Never mind me. I'm glad he's gone. What do you want to do with them? Kill them or save them? No, I think I'll keep them a day or so to see how they behave. So, you've come back. I presume you want them treated like these women here. You want them paid. By all means. How dare you? I will bathe them in the most oriental, exotic perfumes. And some light clothes for comfort. I'm comfortable as I am, thank you. I wasn't thinking of your comfort, I was thinking of your masters. <laughs> am I going to be mixed up like that too? Yes. <laughs> and then will you send my granny to me? Because <laughs> a great citizen in the name of the Republic of France, I don't want to be released. Take her to the bath. You beat that in your hearts! I shall be up to see you.
Steal your car. The men want you to come back to our quarters. We have an important decision to make. But our leader has called no meeting. We do not want our leader at this meeting. But we do want every loyal follower of the band. Every loyal follower. Do you hear? Why not? You see, sir? Even he who wears a star and crescent or a new member. Behold, with fabric body. <laughs> Even he believes as I do about the red shadow. And what is that, Hassi? Come to the meeting, Siderka. Say, Horsey, at the meeting. Hassi. <laughs> as one sheep to another, don't you think this camisole's a bit tight? <laughs> what kind of a place is this anyway? This is the Harry of Valley Ben Alley. You mean one bloke owns all these women? Oh, please get me out of here. I can't stay here. I don't want to be the Harry. Oh, please get me out of here. Oh, Daddy, please buy me that. <laughs> nice, weak, worst Harry man. Oh, come and be Oriental. Come with me. Go away, boys. This is my extension night. <laughs> nice, weak, western man. Oh, oh shoot me whilst I'm happy. Bienvenido, conmigo. I beg your pardon. Let me just bring it up. Bienvenido, bienvenido, conmigo. Avez-vous la plume de ma mère? Take that trap. 
my lease expire. What's the man keep Spanish lady money? Oh, I knew there was a catch in it. But we must have money. Oh, you're all the like old you women in every country. It's money, money, money. It's a loud gimme, goodbye, and send me. Oh, why can't you forget about money? Forget about everything. You great big gorgeous so-and-so. And what not? Oh, you make me feel as though I, I want to fly. You make me feel. You make me feel. <laughs> you want already carpet? So I have a speak within these walls. Now, Malik, you've got a lot of women. Don't be so mean. Oh, oh, what gracious love. Silence. I will speak to you later. Do you believe in fairies? I must have a basin full of those. <laughs> Take the woman to the bath. I'm ready for Julie. What's this? I like you. I know not me. I knew you wouldn't give me a chance. Senor, I am going to the bath. Don't you on the sun. <laughs> well, not very. Well, you have committed the sin of sin. Oh, I did not. I may have no hips, but thank goodness I'm broad-minded. You have violated my hospitality. You've insulted one of my gifts. Who has? You have. Oh, I don't like to have you talk like that about me. You'll have to get out of here. Oh, this is your place. <laughs> All right. We'll put you up for the night. I don't think you realize what it is to insult a woman. Ha, ha, ha. You know Why, I've insulted more women than you. For that, you must die. No thanks. I use a Gillette. Die, 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 die. Well, perhaps you are too young to die. Tell me your name, and I will tell your mother. My mother knows my name. Wait here. And in ten minutes, I'll come back and tell you your fate. I don't think I can wait that long. Oh, it's useless trying to get out of here. I have sentries posted 50 feet apart. And I have told them to look for a man with a star and crescent gelata. Oh, that's me. And I told them to shoot them. Where he stands. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to say where he sits. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, well, uh, Ella, don't you hear your old Benny? Yeah. Is that you, Ella? No, Benny, it's me. Oh, well. Benny, what are you doing down there? Believe it or not, I'm waiting on a taxi. It used to be the flag outside the Turkish baths. <laughs> I've got some news. That great shadow isn't so bad after all. Look! Good heavens, the gas bill. No, it's a pass through the lines. A pass through these lines? Yes. The Jackie wants me to take a message to General Beerable to tell him Marco is safe. Isn't that can be true. Oh, it is true. Very well then, I won't argue. <laughs> Wait a minute. This pass is made out to you, isn't it? Yes. I go to the north gate, and there I'm met by an escort of six gorgeous men. They blindfold me and lead me through the secret trail to safety. Safety? Thank you. I have done. I can't let you do this. Can't let me? I won't have my little girl exposed to such a danger. But I must get the message to General Beerball. Wait. I will deliver it. I, Marcus Antonius, will deliver the message. Hey, you wouldn't be able to find your way. They wouldn't even let you through the line. But this place. 
much, but it's made out to be. I knew things were going too easily. <laughs> What's that knocking? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Wait, I've got an idea. <coughs> we're about to say hi. You mean change clothes? Yeah, you keep my Janelle and I'll wear your dress. They'll never know the difference. You do this for me? Only for you, Susan. Only for you. Questions. 
There is a saying in Morocco. Tell me all, no matter how bad, that a pretty woman is a gold mine. <laughs> well, don't come round here prospecting. A buffalo. <laughs> what is this? What is this? A wolf in sheep clothing? No, a gentleman in Georgette. This is all a mistake. A little one. Shall I slit thy tongue? If you do, I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> Five minutes, you'll be in another world. Susan! You caught! You're right! I am! And I lost your hat! You'll lose your life in a minute. No. I will attend to you both myself. Out of a word with a boot. This will be no ordinary death. He's going to save us. But a death of horror for you too. The mountains are high. The desert is broad. Oh, no. The woods are thick. Oh, no! with none to wait you. And by the living out of the pay too. You're a better man than I am, young lady. Ah. <laughs> Through the thick foot of the mountain out upon the broad desert. Two lonely souls on the back of a mule. <laughs> Do oh, no. to a slow, torture stricken death. Hungry. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> there is but one hope. We can eat in you. <laughs> Some savage tribe may put an end to your suffering. Well, anyway, then, if we must die, we'll die together. <laughs> Stop cheering me up. You never know. This might be the hand of Providence. Well, deal me another hand. When you have changed back to your own claws, I will put you on a mule and send you out into the desert. Come then, look on the bright side. There's no bright side to a mule. Tonight, we start out to our death. But it will be our first night alone together. In the solitude of the desert. With the oriental sky. <laughs> Just you and I. And the jackass. Oh, I'll die to cry. It's all right for you. You're behind it. <laughs> Wait, what do you make of an end? What? Your face. We were alone in the desert, waiting for starvation to end it all. I will look into your eyes. Oh, Benny. And I'll think, this is a woman who might have been my wife. Oh, Benny. And somehow, death won't seem so bad. One. 
good reason. I, I tell them about the reason. Give me one. I, there's someone else I do love. Someone else? Who? You don't know him. Who? General Vivo San Pierre. Pierre. <laughs>
wouldn't seem to have caught that. In my younger days, I was a good sort. This man would tell me that if I beat your day, we will release her. Well, sir, I am going to kill you. But you'll have to kill me.
a day longer than two years. How could it be two years? We have everything and don't care what you lose. Take that animal to the cavalry stable. All right. Come on, Sebastian. Come on, mate. Come on.
That is not part of our bargain. No. Well, take your money and go. But I will tell you this. For no silver. White men have hurt me. Hurt me much. Today I have been paid back for all my hurts. Drink.
Father, for the past year, I have been your hidden enemy. I was willing to give up my life to keep that from you. As Jeremiah of this boast, I know nothing beyond the fact that the Red Shadow is no more. And you forgive me? You have done nothing wrong, my boy. You understand these people better than I do. Well, perhaps you would. There will be no need of a rift from him. Who? Oh, father, what can I say? You father. Tell her how you killed the Red Shadow.